హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ హ్యావ్ అ గుడ్ డే ఫర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ గౌరవ్ జగదీష్ పాఠక్ వెల్కమ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఆఫ్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ అప్లైడ్ థర్మోడైనమిక్స్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ థర్మోడైనమిక్స్ అండ్ ద టుడేస్ ఫోకసింగ్ పాయింట్ ఈజ్ ద నాకింగ్ ఫండామెంటల్స్ సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఆర్ వెల్ నోన్ about knocking fundamentals or phenomena of knocking as there are many definitions are plotted and expressed by different engineers about knocking the knocking is the metallic sound that is caused by a spontaneous ignition of the end gases it occurs during the compression stroke and mostly in the si engine at the expansion stroke of the ci engines it is a one type of audible sound that can be hear with the open ears to everybody and it is the phenomena that cannot be avoided easily in the running conditions of the si engine it results the pressure fluctuation in the cylinder and increases the temperature of the combustion chamber the surface ignition is caused due to hot spot in the chambers various fuel gases and high temperature residual gases are there present into the combustion chamber and we cannot avoid this after burning that's why the surface ignition is causes the knocking phenomenon overheated walls spar plug and glowing combustion chambers are deposits the various particles on the walls of the ch- chamber and knocking phenomena is get audible sound to the rider pre ignition and post ignition is one of the most important aspect regarding the knocking these are the two factors we have to consider in actual wall timing diagram we can see the pre ignition and post ignition phenomena of each now to avoid the knocking or we can say to uh, live, uh, to uh, reach the knocking level up to moderate point we can contributed or plotted these two phenomena in two groups wise pre ignition and runway knock there are various types of combustion we can plotted in front of your screen you can see the normal combustion and abnormal combustion we see this uh, normal combustion separately in the another topic first they are abnormal combustion are separated with the spark knock and surface ignition further the surface ignition is divided into four topics wise knocking surface ignition run on and runway surface ignition then the last top, last one is divided into knocking surface ignition rumble and wind peak are the two further dividation part which are we can see here after in the next topic now friends from where knock is get created if we go to the cause root for that particular sense of knocking we see that auto ignition of the end gases and it is depend st- strongly on the chemical composition of the gas mixture that is the air fuel mixture and residual gases present into the combustion chamber is the main responsible for knocking it the flame burns all the fresh gases before auto ignition in the end gas can be occur then the knock is avoided does we avoid the flame burning of fresh residual gases in the actual burning of our actual running of the cycle no knock is the potential problem when the burn time is long and auto ignition we can avoid we cannot avoid the automatic ignition while the uh, engine is in running condition and fuel oxidation oxidation occurs during the compression of air fuel mixture now what is the theory of detonation behind it? that is the advantaging uh, flame velocity to consume end gases is much higher as compared to other parameters now what are the limited parameters of knocks that are end gas temperature 
time available before the flame arrival, compression ratio, spark timing, and engine speed. That are the somewhat points which are totally depends that the how knocking can be carried. Now, if the inlet pressure and temperature coolant temperature of ratio, then the fuel factors and knocking scale of SI engine is the main consideration factor that we can count here. The certain and octane numbers, particularly in octane numbers, is measure of res resistance of knocking. That the gravity and the force of molecular attraction between the fuel particles is the most important factor for burning and that's why this is the main point we can consider for the theory of knocking. Normal F10 has an octane value 0 and ISO 10 has a value of 100. The higher than octane number, the higher the resistance to the knock. The blends of these two hydrochloric define the knock resistance to intermediate octane number, for example, blend of 10% and N blend of 90%, then ISO 10 has the octane number of 90. Now, we can consider the fuel factors of knocking scale for CI engine. The knocking phenomena is also almost all the engines in, in SI engine, in CI engine and all, most, uh, all per types of engine. The ignition quantity of fuel in the certain number for high, high certain fuels, ignition delay is short, so very little fuel injected before the auto ignition. Now, it has the value of 100 in the original procedure and gamma, gamma with a certain number of 0 represented at the bottom of the scale. This has since been replaced by the center number 15 which is more stable compound. Now we can compare these two kind of knocking into the spark and diesel knock. In SI knocking occurs near the start of compression while as in CI engine knocking it occurs near the start of expansion stroke. This is the first very important differentiating point. Another one that is depends on it depends upon the fuel factors and engine of parameters that is spark ignition and diesel knocking. Into compared to diesel knocking, it depends upon the delay period and engine parameters. Now, in third point, if we consider in the spark ignition engine, SI engine, it is more significant and limited compression ratio and hence the efficiency of the engine is also fluctuated. As compared to diesel knocking, diesel engine knocking, less significant and it is given advantages to higher thermal efficiencies of the engine. So friend, graphical line diagram is in front of your screen of SI engine and CI engine. The fluctuate, the point at which the TDC, you can see the differing sound or the audible sound occurs of knocking is shown by hatch, hatch kind of line and that is a short peak of knocking you can easily see just at the decrement of the speed level it will occurs and it is for very short time but we cannot avoid such kind of phenomena now can we measure the knocking so how we can measure or sense it with the help of sensors optical probes and ionized detonators can be used to measure the knocking phenomenon. Piezoelectric pressure transducer that is the sensors are used for mostly in the detection of knocking. It generates the voltage when vibration is applied to them for utilizing the piezoelectric effect and it, it is pro proportional to the acceleration. Due to the vibration, a current weight inside the sensor is applying pressure on the piezoelectric element and this pressure creates an electric charge into piezo elements which is in the output signal of the sensor. 
Now, you can see various damages due to knocking. On the piston, there is the wrapping or rings are sticking on breakage. You can see the piston ring that are on breakage which are shown by the yellow arrows in front of you and the cylinder head gasket are get wrapped totally get damaged. Cylinder head erosion, corrosion and the crown top of the piston are damaged. The rashes are clearly shown due to knocking. The melting of piston and holding on the piston crown are the general basic problems due to knocking. Now, can we control the knocking strategies? Yes. How we can achieve this that to provide the adequate cooling to the engine? Always take the precaution that the temperature of the engine should not cross the excess limit and use the intercooler or turbocharger then we can use a high octane and cetane gasoline and diesel. Somewhat additives are available in the market. So anti-knocking gasoline is one of the most preferable additives that we can use with the fuel for burning. Now fuel enrichment under the service condition and use of knock sensor to control the spark rated so as to operate the close to engine or knock limit. Fast combustion system and gasoline direction injection are the some kind of the major important aspect to control the knocking. This is all about the knocking phenomena in the CI and SI engine. We meet in another topic. Thank you very much. Thank you.